is give you a little background on the commission, what our fundamental findings were, and then talk about our strategy of labor uh, of uh, layered uh, cyber deterrence. First, the commission. It was set up by the 2019 National Defense Act, and the mission of the commission was to establish an overall strategic direction for American policy in cyberspace. That's number one. And number two, to make recommendations for implementing that strategy. The commission had 14 members, four from the Congress, four from the executive, and six from the private sector. It was entirely nonpartisan. There were really no partisan discussions whatsoever. And apart from the four members of Congress, I have no idea of the partisan affiliations of any of the other uh, members of the commission. We had 29 in-person meetings. Uh, we interviewed over 400 people. We went through thousands of pages of, of documents, uh, ended up with uh, 81 recommendations, 57 of which require legislative act action, which have been submitted uh, to the various committees and the staffs uh, in the Senate and the House. So what are the fundamental findings? Uh, the, the, the real basis of the commission uh, rests upon uh, three issues. One is reorganization. Get the structure right. And the, the chair talked about this at the beginning. Uh, the second is resilience. How do we build cyber defenses to keep ourselves safe from attack? And the third is response. How do we respond to attacks in such a way as to defend our country? Now, the, the, the fundamental uh, strategy, if you will, is called layered cyber defense, layered cyber deterrence. And here are the layers. Number one is shape behaviors. That is establish norms and standards in the international community so that this isn't a unilateral one country kind of effort. The second is to deny benefits. And that is to strengthen our cyber defense. And that's just, part of this is reorganization. Part of this is strengthening CISA and other agencies that we'll, we'll talk about later this morning. Uh, but to basically be more resilient and that includes plans for uh, the recovery of the economy in the case of a cyber attack. The third is the, the strategy of deterrence. We have been attacked over and over over the last 10 or 15 years, and our, our adversaries have paid very little price. We need to establish a clear declaratory policy that if you attack the United States in cyberspace, you will be able, you will have, have to pay a cost. And that's really the fundamental idea of deterrence. And it, we've got to be clear about it. And we've got to have our adversaries make a calculation that attacking us is going to cost them. I want to change their calculus when they're making that decision. And that's what the fundamental strategy is that we're going to be presenting to you today. Thank you very much for holding this hearing. Look forward to answering your questions.